Hi Simmers! This is Kolei here with a Bowling Alley Speed Build. I'm sure as you all know the Bowling Night Stuff Pack just came out last week and I'm still so very excited for it. This build is, or this Bowling Alley, is a medium sized Bowling Alley with about 8 lanes. So we'll see how that plays out as this goes along. I want to thank all of you who participated in the giveaway and I want to congratulate the three winners. Um, for those of you who didn't win, don't get discouraged. There are going to be plenty more giveaways in the future. So just sit tight and I'm sure you will win something very soon. Um, along with this bowling alley build, I'm also going to build three, no not three, two vintage houses. One of them is going to be a smaller one, probably about a 15K, I think about a 15K um, challenge. And it's only going to have the bowling alley pack items and the base game pack items. Oh, and that's the same for this build as well. This bowling alley only has the um, bowling night stuff pack and the base game pack, except for those um, railings right there. Those are the only things, those are on the City Night Living or the City Living pack. So other than that, everything in here is Bowling Alley and the base game. Okay, so back to my vintage house builds. So the first one's probably about 15K challenge with only the Bowling Night pack and the base game. Whereas my second build is gonna be vintage, but I'm not going to set any limitations on it. So that one's gonna be a lot of fun too. That one's gonna be pretty big, probably the size of a family, a good family size house. We'll see how it goes, we'll see. Um, oh, and then I'm also going to be doing a bowling night let's play. So I will be posting that pretty soon and the Sims will be playing in this bowling alley right here that you are looking at. Um, yeah, so that'll be really fun. We'll, we'll go through their different skill levels, different trick shots and whatnot. We're just going to check out the whole gameplay acts, aspect of it, which I'm pretty excited for. I have yet to see it, and I'm very excited. I've been, I, I've had this game for a few days now, and I can't believe I haven't even played it yet. I've been too busy building bowling alleys and vintage homes. I was saving the play, and now I'm done waiting. Ugh, I'm ready to play. So that's exactly what's going to happen. Probably. Probably either today or tomorrow I will be posting that up as well. That's pretty exciting. Um, oh, and then I have two other Let's Plays I'm going to be doing as well. I have one that's going to be a survival Let's Play. I'm going to put a couple on an island and we are going to play God and see where fate takes them. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I will have some more um, information on that one later, well, probably like in a week or so, I'll have more information on that one. Maybe I'll do like a pilot episode to kind of give you guys the information on it. So I'm excited for that one. That one's going to be a real challenge and hopefully we don't kill them off too soon. I mean, we want to have some fun with them before they end up dying. Hopefully, hopefully they survive. C cross you my fingers. You can't see it. My fingers are crossed. I hope they survive it. If they don't, well, say la vie. Um, oh, and then I'm also doing a bachelor let's play. So right now I am building my bachelor mansion. I've already completed the interior, now I'm just working on the outside, the swimming pool and whatnot. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm going to post the bachelor as well. And while I'm making him, if you guys want to get started on making the ladies, um, then I can um, do an episode on choosing the ladies. So put him up on, um, on the community and put Cole Bachelorette. Um, that way I know I'll type that in, Cole, C-O-L-E-E, -E, and then Bachelorette. And then I will know that you would like to enter her into the competition. So I'm pretty excited for that. Um, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Just the Bachelor episodes are always so great. I don't know if any of you watch them in in actual life, in real life, 
but it's pretty entertaining and I've got some great ideas, great dating ideas available and it's so cool in The Sims because you can actually offer roses, which I think is just so perfect for Bachelor. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? You can actually offer a rose just like The Bachelor. So start making your ladies because we're going to be choosing, let's give it, ooh, let's see if we can get some ladies in in three weeks. I'm not going to post an exact date yet, but let's just say about three weeks. Try and post them by then. Um, yeah. Yeah, three weeks. So that'll be ugh, so exciting. Ugh. I hope you guys make some crazy girls. But don't forget to put some nice ones in there too. I mean, you can post as many girls as you want, honestly. Let's, let's get the more the merrier. We need about seven to play, because we can only have up to eight characters. So obviously one's the male, the bachelor, and then so we need seven bachelorettes. So be creative, have fun with it. Try and get us some good girls. Get us some crazy girls. Let's, let's do this. Let's make it so much fun. So those are the let's plays I'm thinking about right now. Um, yeah, it's going to be a great time. So we've got some good let's plays ahead and then we'll see what happens after that. Oh, and also the runner-up for The Bachelor, whoever The Bachelorette runner-up is, she will be our new Bachelor, our new Bachelorette, obviously. So yeah, that'll be a lot of fun and then you guys can start making me Bachelors. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Ugh, too much on my mind right now, okay? <laughs> Gotta slow it down. <sighs> okay, yes. So start making those bachelorettes. And in three weeks, we will... I'll do a little episode on choosing ladies. Just like we're the producers of the show kind of thing. So, yeah, I think that'd be a lot of fun. And also look for my Survivor pilot episode. That is going to be a must-see. It's going to be crazy and... I know you're going to love it. You're not going to want to miss it. Okay, so stop yapping about my future plans. Okay, we're going to look into what we're looking at right now, the medium bowling alley speed build. So with this one, I wanted there to be just so many different colors. I know generally you go to bowling alley, or at least in Southern California where I'm at, the only bowling alleys I've been to, they've been very, just very basic. Um... There are a lot of colors as far as decorations and stuff, but the seating has generally been the same colors throughout the whole thing. But what I want to do is I want to make it super fun, super colorful, and I kind of wanted to see how the moonlighting was going to affect each different color too. So I wanted to see just the variety and how it's going to affect everything. That's also why I did it colorful, and I, I don't know if you can tell, I mean obviously not from this angle you can't tell, but um, I did, oh what did I do, <laughs> I'm trying to think what I just did, um, I color coordinated the furniture to the lane, so if you're in the pink seating area, you're in the pink lane, if you're in the orange seating area, your, your lane is orange, I don't know, I thought it was just fun. I know there's not anybody working here, but if there was, they would say, oh, you're in the blue lane. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. But that's what I did. And I just, I love color coordinating everything. I love how the, the mid-century modern furniture looks. It was such a great idea for the bowling alley. Oh, and the, the clothing options. Oh my gosh. The women's clothing options are to literally die for. Seriously. If you haven't seen them yet, go and check out my video for the Bowling Night Stuff Create a Sims review, or I'll post a link down below. Seriously amazing. I mean, it's perfect. I have one outfit in mind right now, and it's just, it's wonderful, it's beautiful. I want to buy it. Sims should make a clothing line. They really should. I Some of the things on here I would definitely buy. Okay, so the bowling alley is pretty much finishing up. And I'll be showing some screenshots pretty soon. I'm trying to remember what else I did at the end of the build. I'm trying to guess. Oh yes, speakers, of course. Of course. Speakers. Oh yeah, and if you would like to download this 
bowling alley into your sims community make sure you go on the online community and download it from my page under Cole Simmer, C-O-L-E-E-S-I-M-M-E-R. And you will definitely be able to download it. So I kind of did a plain front, not a plain, but I kind of wanted to make it, or not kind of, I did want to make it more traditional to an actual bowling alley. And I'm not sure what your bowling alleys look, because I know people from all over the world, we all have different bowling alleys, even in the US where I'm from, we all have different bowling alleys. But at least in Southern California, this is what a good portion of the bowling alleys look like. They just kind of look like they're in a, um, in a, um, oh, what's it called? Like a warehouse kind of thing. Just like a warehouse, but just painted pretty, or not pretty, but just better nicely. And that's about what they look like. So that's what I decided to do. You can always download it and change it. Um... I want to do a city bowling alley one as well. Oh, so there's the top view. And that one will probably be a couple stories with nice giant windows and whatnot. So look for that. I'm not sure. I have so much other stuff going right now. I'm not sure when I'll be able to do that, but I would like to do it. The so trophy cases. And there we have it. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you download this into your Sims community. I will be coming up with much more videos in the future, some good Let's Plays, Let's Builds, and more reviews. So stay tuned. We also have more giveaways on the way. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you.